Okay, this video has got uh, two purposes. One, a practical thing of showing you how to pop open a DJI battery. In this case, I've got some Inspire batteries. And two, to document at DJI's request an odd problem that I had. So I've got a DJI Inspire. I've got the four DJI Inspire batteries, which have uh, worked uh, quite well. And I had downloaded a firmware and put them on the, uh, the multi-charger that they have. And after letting them sit for a month or two of not uh, flying the DJI unit, I discovered all four batteries were totally drained. And uh, this was a surprise to me because according to their documentation, you know, if they sit for 10 days or seven days, something like that, they will uh, discharge down to a storage level and you know be ready to recharge when you're ready to use them again and I uh, was surprised to find out that they've discharged down to be totally dead I've heard some chatter on the internet they've got firmware problems etc I was trying to work through all that and as the first step I'm going to see are the cells inside totally drained or is just is there something goofed up in their built-in battery controller So popping them open is pretty straightforward. It's got uh, two, two tabs here, two tabs here, and then a pair of tabs on each of the sides. And notice no, uh, no light when you push the button. And the first thing that I did is you kind of uh, take a flat screwdriver and kind of pop that up. And then I just... Uh, stuck a Phillips screwdriver in to kind of shim that and then flip it over on the side and then you can kind of stick your flat screwdriver in and just kind of get one side loose And then the other side loose and that has this side I'm going to be careful not to let it slide down and uh, snap back on and we'll come shim that side now pop that up and the other side Pop that up, and the whole top just kind of comes off. And when we open it up, we see here's the logic board. This looks like uh, the per cell monitoring. There's the power going to the logic board. These two lines go out to where the battery charger hooks up. Now that we've got that, I'm going to pull off some of this tape and check the voltage. And that's got just some tiny residual voltage, almost zero. So it looks like these have been good and discharged and I'm in uh, communications with uh, DJI to find out what to do about this because I was a little bit unhappy because it seems like their firmware has discharged the batteries. You know, I've got you know plenty of like here here's an old you know Turnigy this thing from 2012 and it's not in the greatest shape. I use it for planes, not for quads. But you know, it's, it's holding its charge fine. But anyways, I'm going to, at their request, they asked me to record this video and kind of show them. And I expect that I'll find the same thing on all four batteries. And it was awfully suspicious that it happened right after a firmware update and that all four batteries uh, discharged at the same time. Anyways, I'm gonna check on this and follow up with DJI and I'll let you know back here what I find out. 